And here's the custom covers that I have for uh, episodes one through six, plus the bonus features disc that's included. There are actually three discs that are included in the uh, in the uh, box set for the Blu-rays. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over each movie a little bit and show you my custom covers. And the first one up is the Phantom Menace. This came out in 1997, and of course, you know, it has Darth Maul, one of the greatest uh, villains ever created in Star Wars. Um, Qui-Gon Jinn, and of course, Anakin Skywalker as about a 10-year-old boy. Obi-Wan Kenobi, and of course, Jar Jar Binks there, which, yeah, you got on my nerves, but I really like the movie. Um, I love the, the, the lightsaber battle, as you can see, between Darth Maul and uh, Qui-Gon and uh, Obi-Wan. And the pod race scene is good. I think it uh, was amazing to see Star Wars back on the big screen, considering it had been since 1983. Uh, this movie made a ton load of money. And uh, you know what? I like The Phantom Menace. I like all three of the uh, prequel trilogies. Do I like them as well as the original trilogy? No, of course not. But I'm not going to hate on them because they're not exactly like the original trilogy. And that's one of the reasons I like the prequel trilogies, because... Lucas was able to do a whole lot more with the CGI and show you some of the new stuff of what Star Wars would look like more modern. So we got a, a lot of different ships and planet looks and a, and a lot of different things that are just way cool. And you get to see, you know, Jedi Knights really, you know, showing showing their thing, you know, and showing how good they really were back in that day. So, you know, I enjoy The Phantom Menace. That artwork's just awesome with Darth Maul there in the background with his eyes. I mean, just look at that. Next up is the uh, Clone Wars. Uh, this one is when we have Hayden Christian step in and play in the role of Anakin. And, of course, a lot of people hate this movie as well. But when you get down to the end battle there with Yoda and uh, I forget this guy's name, Count Dooku. Uh, it's incredible. I, I was cheering whenever Yoda whipped out that light lightsaber at the end. You know, and there's there's some slow parts in this, and of course, and you know, Hayden Christensen wasn't that good of an actor. I admit that, but uh, you know, the guy that plays Obi Wan is is amazing, and it tells the story along. I mean, we're getting the story of Darth Vader, and you know, this is just a, a, a really good Star Wars movie. I mean, people can say what they want to about it, but to me, it's a good second movie in the trilogy. Is it on the level of the other Star Wars films? Not even close. But it for it for what it is, it fits. And I actually enjoyed the movie. And here we have the final uh, prequel movie, Revenge of the Sith, which is a very uh, dark movie. And I think it was a PG-13 rating, which is the first time Star Wars had ever got one of those. And it is very, very dark and gritty. And it... And it shows the Anakin's path to the dark side, and him turning into Darth Vader at the end was just classic. And of course, you have the the battle between the Sith Lord um, Palpatine and Yoda, which is amazing. And of course, the scene to open this movie—that's demo-worthy material. You put that in your Blu-ray player and on your TV, you're going to blow people away. That's how good that it looks. That opening scene, man, it is just incredible. And uh, you know, I love this movie. I think it's the probably the best of the three when you get right down to it. You know, this, this is the best of the prequels. And then the Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clone Wars is last. So, uh, you know, but I like it a lot. Now we're going to get into one of the most iconic trilogies of all time. I said Back to the Future was the greatest trilogy of all time. You got Indiana Jones competing. You got Star Wars. I just probably will have to give it to Star Wars. The original prequel trilogy, 1977, 1980, 1983, that is the greatest movie trilogy ever made. All three movies are Desert Island, phenomenal movies, must-watches, before-you-die movies. All three of them. Uh, that's how good these movies are. Uh, fans, that's why Star Wars is what it is today. And, of course, you know, with the, the, the way that Star Wars has turned into with uh, Force Awakens and uh, Last Jedi is just a joke. These movies just blow away anything of that. Uh, so we're going to go over these. It's hard for me to pick a favorite. But, you know, I go back and forth between Star Wars A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. I would say Return of the Jedi is third. Uh, 
these two I really don't know which one I, I like better I probably Empire but I mean this one is so iconic that you're you know introduced to these characters and uh, of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader Princess Leia, Han Solo, I mean, I can go on and on. This is a fantastic movie. The end of it had me on the edge of my seat uh, when they were destroying the Death Star, but you hung on every word. You knew you were watching something special. And, uh, you know, this is just something that, uh, it's part of my DNA, Star Wars is. You know, I mean, uh, I'll never, ever let these movies go from my from my consciousness uh, Chewbacca, R2-D2, C-3PO. I mean, I can go on and on. Uh, a must-own trilogy. I mean, come on. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, probably the greatest sequel ever made, other than Terminator 2. But, I mean, this is what, you know, really set Star Wars off, man. I mean, a phenomenal movie, and the way that this movie flows and sets up the third movie... The continuation, uh, Darth Luke finding out Darth Vader is his father was the, one of the most iconic movie moments in history. Nobody knew it was coming. When I watched it the first time, my jaw almost dropped to the floor. The sequences in this movie, the asteroid scene, the Hoth scene, uh, I can't say enough about how awesome this movie is. Uh, it's movie making at its finest. That's, all, that's, that's it. <laughs> And, of course, Return of the Jedi. People knock it because of the Ewoks. Forget all about that. This is a great movie. The end fight between Vader and Luke is classic. Um, the the speeder chase scene. I mean, again, this movie, it blew me away. I mean, to see Luke as a master Jedi, what he had turned into from the first movie and how it progressed was just so awesome and perfect. You know, him and Leia being brother and sister, I mean, that's something you find out and just was blown away by. And uh, it's one of the greatest movies of all time, along with these other two. So uh, the greatest trilogy of all time right there, Star Wars.